Hey Simleys, it's Deli here. So I am doing a bit of a fun build in the backyard of my Sims 4 LP house because my Sim Ashton is in the secret agent career and I feel like he needs a secret lair over here where he can do a bit of a bit of shady business perhaps. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I haven't included this in the LP because it would take too much time out of it. But then I know some of you guys are probably interested in seeing it being built. So let's do it. Um, I think we need lots of rocks and stuff. Make it really secretive. I know it's a little bit silly, but it's The Sims, you know, you're meant to have fun with it. Okay, so we've got some big rocks here. People would go to their backyard and be like, what? Or instead of having really big rocks everywhere, we could actually make it look like a little pool house thing, but then it's got a secret, a secret, a secret door. Maybe that would be better. Okay, so let's get a gate happening. Uh, maybe it should be access from only their garden. So let's put one in here. Oh, I am such a noob. This is a fence, so we can just put the door in the fence. Duh. Uh, we'll move Xavier's thing over here. Now. Okay, put that in. Why are we building this at night time? Okay, I've got that there. And yeah, I have extra money because I sold all of their furniture. Oh, glitched out a little bit there. I've sold all of their furniture that they had... Um, in their inventory from before they moved because we never sold their furniture which is pretty crazy all right so we can pretend that it's like this little i don't know little exercise room maybe but then we'll have a secret doorway going into his lair at the back here how's that sound so i don't mind that that glitched out then actually because it's like the gate was hidden oh well my bad um, how close we should put it? Maybe we should put it further towards the, the back of the lot so it's more secretive. Like he has to travel a bit of a way to get there. What's over here? Oh, it's straight onto a path. Hmm. Maybe we'll move it forwards a bit. So it's pretty much in the exact same spot that it was. Oh well. Okay, now where are these secret bookshelf doors? Because I think they're really cool. What? Level 10 of the writer career to unlock it? No. Oh, no. It's okay. We have a hidden bookcase door here. Do we have a double one? I thought there was a double bookcase door. Different sizes? No? Oh, well. What color do we want? Gray, brown. I guess we'll go white because that's what we usually do. And we want to face it this way. <laughs> so sneaky, sneaky. Uh, so we'll pop that there. And we'll just get the same bricks as probably what we had on this side of the house. Maybe. Oh, that looks ugly there. Let's go that. That's nice. And then we'll just put a simple, simple, simple roof on top. Um, we'll just do it like the rest of the house, kind of curve it like that, and then maybe lower it so it doesn't look weird and funky. No, it still looks a bit funky though, doesn't it? Hmm, I think we should do a half one instead. So we're going to get this roof tool instead, and... Pop it around like that. Lower it. And then curve it using that tool. I also prefer it when the roof kind of fits the house, if that makes sense, because it doesn't I don't know, it doesn't look quite as dramatic. Dramatic. Okay, uh, the only windows we want, because we want to be a little bit shady, is going to be in the front part of this house. Or this part of the house. Just maybe put one there and one, one here and we'll get a door just to match their place. 
lesson. And then the little pathway, I think we'll just use a terrain paint because that's nice and easy, doesn't cost any money. Uh, let's go with... What's... This one's kind of cute. Whoa, that's a lot more spread out than I was expecting. Maybe get a smaller one. There we are, cute. Nice. Get some plants around it. Ooh, didn't mean to grab that one. I just want some lavender. I feel like Ashton appreciates lavender. I feel like Ashton would be really romantic as well for some reason. I don't know why. It's just sometimes you get this in your head. You imagine how your sim would be. I do that a lot. <laughs> All right, let's pop these in. That's what I love about The Sims, though, because you can be so creative. It's like, I always tell people, it's like when you played with a dollhouse when you were little. That's what The Sims is for me, like a dollhouse, but a little bit more sophisticated. <laughs> okay. Maybe we will continue to put some rocks around here. I don't know what objects this is going to delete or if these rocks are going to delete themselves in live mode, but we'll just give it a go. Let's move that. Okay, and then we can put some trees around here as well. Alright, it's coming together. It's kind of hidden. Should put another tree behind here. Cute. And then inside, we'll just go same wallpaper as in here. Um, and I did a recent build where I actually used paneling uh, inside the house, and I really liked that. Why is this? Why am I being such a special person right now? Okay, there we go. I love that hidden bookshelf. Although I wish we had bookshelves that matched it, so it was kind of like I don't know how to explain it, but. It blends in more because otherwise you're like what's that random bookshelf in the wall doing oh we should make this part like super cool like use metal flooring yeah yes okay and then what which what kind of I'm trying to think what kind of a uh, wallpaper he'd have in a secret in a secret agent room I guess it would be just plain or we can make it all really old school but I feel like it should be more technological. Maybe we'll go these squares. Do like a row of red and then the the rest of them grey. Super duper top secret stuff. Do need some lighting though. It's looking a little bit looking a little bit shabby at this stage. Two lights in there, and then for this room. Once again, I think I want to put something ultra fancy and like these it's gonna be so badass <laughs> okay so this pretend room maybe this pretend room can be not an art room for Xavier although we've kind of put all of Xavier's art things up here I don't know oh okay kind of pop that in there then we're gonna grab his funky thing to put on the wall. And then this little weird signal thing can go over here. Can we copy this? Have a few of them. Oh my gosh, $860. No, thank you. One will be enough. One will suffice. Is there anything else fancy up here? No, so the rest of this space can be more of Xavier's studio, I suppose. Or maybe we should put Xavier's studio in the front part of the house as well. I just, I just don't know. Now nah, we'll leave it here. Just seems a bit dark and dingy, that's all. Like there's no windows in this room, except for there. So, not really sure. Put those canvases. Can we pop them over here? No. Oh, I like how we can pop those papers down there, though. 
Oh, when we get move objects, I will be such a happy chappy. You have no idea. <laughs> well, you guys probably do, but because a lot of you would be the same, but I'll just... Like, I'm sure they're going to do something like move objects, surely. Okay, so he's got a full-on art studio. Maybe we'll put some more sketches on this side. Why can't we put them there? Why not? Okay. Maybe we should just put a window. Well, can we get a window in here? It's a question. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think the windows look too good. Oh, well, now a rug. Can we get a painty looking rug? How do you unlock that? Oh, tech guru, Korea. Hmm. I thought there was some kind of painter rug thing available. Like a painting mat. But we definitely didn't get one in our inventory, so if there is. Oh, that is so cute! Oh, I love that little ballerina. Uh, I've got those already. Level A to the right of Korea. Oh, yay, Trinity will get that soon. I don't know, if you guys know if there was a painting rug, I swear there was something with paint splats on it that would be good, but I can't recall. Oh, well, that rug is slightly an overkill. <laughs> Oh golly, I feel like Xavier might have something like this. Like a little bit more... I don't know. Maybe it's just because my mum recently got back from Morocco, so I'm still in that... I don't know, I'm, I'm just all into anything that looks slightly... Moroccan or something. I don't even know if that is Moroccan, but <laughs> hopefully you guys get my drift. Alright, so let's go back here and figure out what else we can put in this secret lair. I mean, I don't know wall decorations we could put in. Hmm. He's like, his business costumes, like when he has to change suit jackets and stuff. Uh, when he's out on the job, like Mr. Incredible. You want to get the most serious looking colors. They're pretty serious looking. All right, so he has those to change into. Ooh, a shield. Nah, it doesn't quite work. He could have, he could have his drinks in here in case uh, he needs a beverage <laughs> for all of the extra stress. Oh, that's so not funny, but I find it funny. Actually, you know what we should do? We should face it this way. And then he should have a couple of chairs for people to meet in case he has like a secret business thing. So we're going to get really spacey looking chairs in here. Well, the spaciest ones available. Pop one like that. I used to always do this before I was, before I did YouTube, I would always do this in my Sims offices. I'd put chairs in for people who were like visiting them. Should we have them both red? It's pretty cool. I think I'll make one black though. You guys know I like a sneaky mismatch here and there. It's no secret. Whilst I am very aware that it's not everyone's cup of tea. Okay, well you guys let me know if there's anything else you th think should be in here. I mean, handy tools, I don't think they really suit. Um... I don't know. Maybe a mirror or something? To check himself before he goes out on the job? Or lockers or something? What's this? What is that? Oh, the wooden awning. I've used those before. Uh, this is cool. <laughs> it's funny. Computer hard drive, tech guru, Korea. Some really cool things that you can unlock. Also, another cheat to actually unlock those things would be really cool as well, I think. I'm look, definitely looking forward to that. Maybe we should get another one of these tactical maps. I don't really want to have to, though. Or maybe this. 
like when he's piecing together suspicious suspicious things happening around the world. All right, so in this part, uh, let's put in a bookshelf. Another one, maybe we can put some here. We'll make it look really nice. I just don't know what to do with this room. I think we should just put workout gear here, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, because you guys have asked for some workout gear in the house. And just one random bookshelf, as if that looks sneaky. Oh dear. We'll just have the loan. Can we put that over on this side? There we go. There we go. I think that still works. So you can work out, then go into a secret, secret, secret office. And if he's working out, he's going to want to check himself out. So we'll pop that there. And maybe... Oh, I think in clutter there were some sports stuff on the ground. There we go. We'll pop that there. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Maybe a rug. This can be like an exercise mat. Okay, he's got his own little gym. Um, I think I think that's good. I think that's very good. Maybe we can put a window in there as well. So he can look out whilst running. Well, kind of, if he turns his head. Perfect. So there is the lair for for Ashton. I think he'll be very comfortable there. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, so secret doorway in. And maybe we should put some rocks, rocks around here as well. Just around the other side. Like, I don't know if we should have made it seek, like super rocky. Like a cave. But then it would be like a massive cave in their backyard. And I feel like that would make the neighbours slightly suspicious. But no one will walk in and be like... As if they're going to look at this and walk in and be like, Wow, I thought it was going to be so much bigger. What could be through the other wall? Maybe it's just where they have their water tank or something like that. Probably wishful thinking. But anyway... Alrighty guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I will speak to you guys soon.